With the Zmodeler brush selected, hover over an edge and press spacebar to open up the Zmodeler Edge Action menu. Locate the Unweld action. With the Unweld action selected, you have a series of targets down below. To start off, let's select the Edge Loop Complete target. With this target selected, hover over any edge on your model and click and the Unweld action will be applied. Now when this is applied, ZBrush is not only unwelding that actual edge, but it's also generating holding geometry for use with dynamic subdivision. So if I come over here and just do a quick auto groups now to just isolate the two different geometry islands on the model, and then just hold Control and Shift and click on one of the polygroups there, you can see the holding edges that have been generated. Now these holding edges, if I come through and just unweld this area here and do another auto group so you can see this, it will allow you to come through and add details specific areas of your model and have it still appear like it's fully attached. So if I come through and start inserting some edge loops here to add some little details, you'll notice that the edge loops, since this part is unwelded, are not going to continue through the entire mesh. But I can come through now and quickly add these little kind of shapes and details on it, and then even if I activate dynamic subdivision, say turn off polyframes here, it's still going to look like it's connected to the rest of my mesh. So there's a few other targets you can use with the actual unweld action as well. So we can do it by edge, edge loop partial, and poly loop. One of note is the actual edge loop partial target. With this target selected, ZBrush will look at the actual edge loop you are selecting on until it comes to an extraordinary point, or a point that is not connected by four edges. So this point right here is connected by one, two, three edges. So if I come over and unweld with edge loop partial selected, ZBrush will unweld that edge loop until it reaches that extraordinary point. So using this unweld action with dynamic subdivision, you can come through and start unwelding different areas of your model to add detail to precise areas without affecting the rest of the mesh.